Hey everyone, welcome to logicalanalyst.com where I show you the power of data in digital marketing. Today we are going to look into a very interesting Chrome Store extension named as the Tag Manager Injector. You can find that on Chrome Web Store. Just type in Tag Manager Injector and you can download it. So this is a very interesting extension created. This will help you to inject your Google Tag Manager container on any of the websites where you want, where the code is not yet published on the website, but you just want to make all the changes and see. So let's start. Let's first download the extension. Just click on Add to Chrome and Add Extension. Once the extension is downloaded on your Chrome browser, you can see it over here. So what exactly does this extension do? Just think of a scenario that you're working in a digital agency and your boss has told you to create a Google Tag Manager container for a client who is making a new website and wants a new container on their website and they're setting up everything from scratch. You create the Google Tag Manager account, you get the container snippet, forward it to the web development team and you are now waiting for the web development team to put the code on the website so that you can do all the tagging and tracking and be ready tomorrow when the campaigns go live and you start capturing data. So what if the developer just has some problem and it's not published the code on the website? And do you want to keep waiting for the developer to put the code on the website? If not, this is a very useful extension for you. So what we are going to do is use the Tag Manager Injector extension and inject our container into any of the websites and see how it works. So we have here our test container in Google Tag Manager ready to be used. And we are going to use one of my fr very good friends website. He is a web designer and developer. And if you're looking for any of the services, you should go connect with him. And let's just try and do it once over here. So what we need to do is first copy the container code from Google Tag Manager and then click on the Tag Manager injector extension it will open up a small page here where it will tell you to insert your gtm container id over here your domain name where you want to inject the container on a temporary basis mind you this is not a permanent thing which you can do this is just for the purpose of testing your container and the tags whether they're they're working fine or not so now we will Put the container code over here and the domain name of the website over here you can use the either the exact match type or the regex match where it ignores the cases and if you want you can also push some data layer codes directly through tag manager injector so let's go forward and click on start so that it the tag manager injector injects the container into the website after you click on start you can see that the gtm container container id is now active on the website let's go to the tag manager account and let's create a sample tag We are here making a page view tracking tag, which is the very basic tag as we saw in the last video. And we will save the tag. Now that it is saved, let's try and see if our container is actually working on the website. Click on preview so that the preview and debug mode in Google Tag Manager is activated. Go on the website and 
we can start the container now as you can see you have started the container on the website the code is not there on the website it's not hard coded but we are successfully able to inject the google tag manager container on the website we can also see that the changes we did are working fine the firing status has succeeded so that that means the tag has been fired we can also check it in analytics in real time though the data will not be saved in the property but it will show whether the tag is working or not and we can see that it is successfully connecting with the google analytics account and sending data from this website so now this is how it works and it is a really good extension to make all the changes test them and publish them so that you don't have to wait for anyone before you complete your work on google tag manager and be ready before the campaigns go live and all your data tracking is on place just keep in mind that this container sorry this extension is not to be used on a permanent basis it is just to test on a temporary basis where you inject the code because the injector will just injects or puts the code on the website on a temporary basis this data will not be transferred to your property but it's a really good extension to complete all your tasks and not to wait for anyone so yes that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video please like the video and subscribe to our channel thank you